Breaking eye alert. OpenAI has just rolled out GPT 4.1, and it's already changing everything inside ChatGPT. We're not just talking about better replies or a faster model. This is the most powerful version of ChatGPT ever released, and it comes with some mind-blowing upgrades. A context window so huge, it can remember an entire book in one go. Coding abilities that outperform almost every other public model, including Gemini and Claude. And it's already live right now, for both pro users and free accounts thanks to GPT 4.1 Mini. But here's the twist. OpenAI didn't release a safety report. No transparency, no explanation, just silent domination. So the real question is, what are they hiding? And what comes next? Stay tuned. Because in this video, we're diving deep into what GPT 4.1 can really do, what OpenAI isn't telling us, and why this update could be the start of the next AI arms race. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell. Because we bring you the fastest, most shocking AI updates before anyone else on YouTube. Let's get into it. Let's start with the basics. Because GPT 4.1 isn't just an upgrade, it's a declaration of dominance from OpenAI. So, what is GPT 4.1? It's OpenAI's latest frontier model, a large language model optimized for deep instruction following, complex reasoning, and flawless tool use. But the real headline? A context window of up to 1 million tokens. That's 10x larger than what even advanced users had access to a few weeks ago. It means GPT 4.1 can now absorb huge documents, entire code bases, long email threads, or even multi-chapter books and still respond intelligently. Think of it this way. Before, you were chatting with an AI that had the memory of a goldfish. Now, you're working with one that can hold a university textbook in mind, with full comprehension while generating your answer. But it's not just memory. GPT 4.1 scored 54.6% on SWE Bench Verified, one of the hardest real-world coding benchmarks. That's over 21 points higher than GPT 4.0 and beats Claude 3 Gemini 1.5 Pro in every public model tested so far. It's smarter, faster, and incredibly context-aware. And the kicker? It's already live. If you're on ChatGPT's Pro or Team Plans, GPT 4.1 is now powering your responses, quietly, instantly, no upgrade needed. But here's what's strange. OpenAI released it with almost zero fanfare, no full blog breakdown, no safety documentation, no bold launch video. So why the silence? Is this just open AI flexing? Or are they quietly testing a model so capable they don't even know how far it can go? Stick around, because GPT 4.1 is just the beginning. Now, while everyone's talking about GPT 4.1, there's a silent revolution happening with its little sibling, GPT 4.1 Mini. And here's the twist. If you're using the free version of ChatGPT today, you're already using it. OpenAI just replaced GPT-40 Mini with GPT-4.1 Mini quietly. No press release, no warning. Just a model swap that has massive implications. So why does this matter? First, it's ridiculously efficient. GPT-4.1 Mini isn't just smaller, it's optimized. It runs cheaper, loads faster, and still manages to outperform older models in core benchmarks, like code completion and logical instruction following. In fact, early insiders are calling it the Claude killer for entry-level reasoning. Second, it's cost-effective by design. OpenAI reports it's 83% cheaper to operate than GPT-40, and that's no accident. They're building toward a world where AI runs on phones, glasses, or even wearables, and Mini is the prototype for that future. This model isn't just Mini. It's the foundation of OpenAI's Edge AI strategy. Third, it's everywhere now. This model is not behind a paywall. It's in the hands of millions of free users who have no idea how much more powerful their chatbot just became. And let's be real, that's a massive strategic move. Because while competitors are still chasing enterprise deals, OpenAI just leveled up their largest user base for free. Bottom line, GPT 4.1 Mini is no longer just a light model. It's a Trojan horse, faster, sharper, and now everywhere. And with OpenAI investing in on-device memory and persistent personalization, this little model might just end up changing more lives than its big brother. Coming up, the real-world impact you'll start seeing today. So, what does all of this mean for real people? Let's take the power of GPT-4.1 and GPT-4.1 Mini out of the lab and drop it straight into your life. Because this update isn't just for AI geeks or prompt engineers. It's for anyone who codes, writes, sells, teaches, builds, or creates. 
One, for developers, a whole new workflow. If you're a coder, GPT 4.1 is like hiring a junior dev who never sleeps. With the 1 million token window, you can now paste your entire repo. Ask GPT to debug, optimize, or explain code across hundreds of files. Even run live code analysis with ChatGPT's code interpreter. Forget switching tabs or Googling every second. This is full stack co-piloting in one prompt. Two, for students and educators, personalized AI tutoring. GPT 4.1 can now understand your full syllabus, not just one assignment. Follow your learning pace and customize examples. Create lesson plans, quizzes, and even adapt its tone to match different teaching styles. Whether you're in high school or med school, this just became your 24-7 tutor. Three, for businesses, smarter, faster automation, from small startups to enterprise teams. Feed GPT 4.1 your sales calls, client notes, or policy docs, and it'll extract insights instantly. Generate contracts, pitch decks, or full marketing funnels in minutes. No VA, no outsourced freelancer, just AI that knows your business. Four, for creators, next level ideation, writers, YouTubers, podcasters, you're not left out. Now you can feed in multiple past scripts and have GPT write in your voice. Co-write stories, generate video ideas, or draft Instagram captions that match your vibe perfectly. Bottom line, this isn't just a better chatbot. This is real productivity at scale. And with 4.1 Mini in the free plan, millions of people just got superpowers without even realizing it. Up next, the benchmarks that prove it's smarter than the rest. Let's talk proof, because hype is easy, but benchmarks don't lie. OpenAI didn't just say GPT 4.1 is better, they backed it up with raw numbers. And the results? They're kind of insane. Coding Mastery, SWE Bench Verified. Tatui Bench is a real-world coding test built on actual GitHub issues, not toy problems. GPT 4.1 scored 54.6%. That's a 21.4% improvement over GPT 4.0. And yes, it beats Claude 3 Opus, Gemini 1.5 Pro, and every open model tested so far. This isn't theoretical code. This is real, dirty, unsolved GitHub problems. If you're a developer, this is your signal. Instruction following. Scale multi-challenge. This benchmark measures how well a model handles multi-step logic and follows instructions with precision. GPT 4.1 hit 38.3%, up from 27.8% with GPT 4.0. It crushes previous OpenAI models and even close competitors. Think of it as the difference between, okay, I answered your question. First, I understood your intent, remembered previous context, and gave you a tailored solution. Reasoning. Kali, if eval, and beyond GPT 4.1 is built to think in chains, not just blur out answers. It's better at step-by-step -step math. It's sharper in legal analysis. And it holds up when dealing with ambiguous, messy, real-world logic. Multimodal skills. Images, charts, visuals. GPT 4.1 passed benchmarks like MMU, multimodal tasks. Math Vista, chart-based problem solving. Chart XIV, scientific figure understanding. It doesn't just read text. It interprets visuals and data and explains it in plain English. So yes, GPT 4.1 is fast, smart, and cost-effective. But more importantly, it's beating every model we've tested it against. And this brings up a big question. If it's this powerful, why is OpenAI hiding so much? Stick around. Chapter 5 dives into the secrecy behind GPT 4.1. Here's what's strange, and no one's really talking about this yet. OpenAI launched GPT 4.1 with almost no transparency. No safety report, no training data disclosure. No technical deep dive like we saw with GPT-4 or even GPT-4.0. It just appeared. That raises a serious question. What are they hiding? Let's break it down. 1. No safety report. For a model this powerful, that can remember 1 million tokens, outperform every public benchmark, and mimic human logic at scale, you'd expect a clear set of guidelines, risks, or even limitations. But OpenAI said nothing. No hallucination rate. No red teaming results. No ethical review. Why? Two. Two theories behind the silence. Theory number one. Strategic lockdown. OpenAI may be locking down details because they're scared of competitors. Releasing info helps Gemini, Claude, and DeepSeek reverse engineer their work. This model could give them a competitive edge, especially with Microsoft integrations heating up. 
Theory number two, internal AGI. Alarm bells. Insiders believe GPT 4.1 might be tapping the edge of AGI frameworks. It's coding better, remembering more, reasoning deeper, and evolving behaviorally with every interaction. If true, OpenAI might not know how to fully control it yet. What's at stake? We're not just dealing with a smarter chatbot anymore. We're inching toward autonomous AI systems, ones that can manage projects, handle memory, execute tasks, and adapt in real time. Without transparency, we're flying blind. And you, the user, deserve to know what kind of intelligence you're actually interacting with. Bottom line, GPT 4.1 is a breakthrough, but the silence around it, that's the loudest signal yet. And it might mean OpenAI is already testing the early building blocks of AGI without telling the public. Stick around. I'll wrap it all up in just a moment. Let's step back and look at what just happened. Today, without a press conference, without a live stream, OpenAI dropped the most powerful version of ChatGPT the world has ever seen. GPT 4.1 isn't just smarter, it's more aware, more contextually capable, and it's already being used by millions, silently upgrading workflows, decisions, and ideas in real time. And yet, we got no transparency, no safety data, no warning about what this truly means for the world. That's not just an update. That's a shift in power. This is bigger than ChatGPT. It's about who controls intelligence, who controls code, and who controls the future of automation, truth, and influence itself. And that's why you need to subscribe right now. Because while the world sleeps on these changes, we're here exposing them before anyone else. Whether it's GPT-5, Grok's Next Move, Gemini's AI Agents, or DeepSeek's China Play, you're going to hear it here first. So let me ask you, do you trust OpenAI's silence? Should AI this powerful be open source or locked behind corporate firewalls? Comment below. Let's make this the biggest AI conversation on YouTube today. And if you learned something new, like share and hit that bell so you're never left behind. This is just the beginning. We're not watching the AI race anymore. We're living in it. See you in the next video.